Hey guys, welcome to part two of Amity Hostel review and everything you need to know. And I'm just gonna pick up where I left off. So happy watching. <laughs> okay, yeah. So a popular question. I don't know why it's popular, but people have like DM'd me so many times asking me if phones are allowed in the hostel. Guys, you can keep as many devices as you want. The Wi-Fi is free. Use it, abuse it. And it works amazingly well in the hostel. Like, I swear, even if it works like shit in class, sometimes it works amazingly well in the hostel. And there's this weird thing that happens. Like, sometimes if the Wi-Fi is not working very well, Netflix will work in ultra 4K HD max high definition possible. It's weird. I don't get how it happens. Like even if the Wi-Fi is so bad that your WhatsApp message is not getting delivered, Netflix is streaming in full HD. I don't know how it happens, but it happens. Amity Wi-Fi just loves Netflix. Apart from that, a lot of things are banned. Like uh, porn websites are banned. Uh, job websites are banned. A lot of online magazine websites are banned for some reason i don't know why uh, some shopping websites are banned i don't know why it doesn't make sense like i think pepper fry or something was banned and you can appeal a ban if there is a ban on something like you will get this notification on your screen like this website is banned appeal this ban so i had appealed it once for i think pepper fry and it's not banned anymore so if you want to use pepper fry you can thank me so it's like that they have like banned apps uh websites some make sense like it's okay a lot of universities would ban those websites some just don't make sense at all so yeah so post wouldn't be authorized to like register two devices to the wi-fi but if you're a hostel and you have like more than like two devices like if you have an ipad for example what you can do is uh ask any of your day scholar friend to let you register like one device because two devices are allowed per amity student so you can just use anybody like somebody else's like somebody doesn't get the laptop that frequently to college so you can just use their second device for your third device like i used to do that um, i think other people used to do it too like i had an ipad so i used to use somebody else's second device for that so that's pretty workable uh last thing about the hostel hostel is the laundry uh like i think i have i don't know if i got questions about it or not but i thought i'll mention it uh, um, there is laundry it's free it's not the best like it's good for your bed sheets and all fine for like a regular jeans but if you have like a fancy like don't give fancy tops is what i'd say because they put a lot of bleach into the wash so your things could get ruined in terms of color so i never gave anything but my bed sheets and my towels for laundry they come to your building to take the laundry you just have to go down they tell you what days they're going to come to take it you just have to go down give your stuff they give you a sheet like a slip and then you go to the laundry room and pick it up in like three four days you can go and pick it up anytime i have sometimes gone there like 10 10 days late and it's it's there like nobody will take your stuff and run away because they can't with other slips so it's all chill <laughs> it's fine the laundry is fine but i would strongly suggest not to give like things you don't want like you don't want to risk ruining with bleach it's not like crazy bleach but you'll be able to tell once you give your bed sheet like for the first time trust me just give your bed sheet and see how it feels nice suits also you can give that's fine but uh, try to avoid like nice tops and stuff i don't know it's personal i just didn't feel like giving it also each floor has a tv i know all of this is just a little rambled up all over the place all this information but like i left hostel like two years ago so things keep popping up so i'm just telling you so yeah they have a tv on each floor and generally girls are like watching serials on them <laughs> so it's okay you have like good wi-fi just watch your movie in your room anywhere and now coming to the most asked questions about amity hostel the outpass system so i'll just explain the system there are like too many questions can i go out how can i go out weekdays weekends night out long day long trip short trip permissions parents permission 
a lot of questions so i'll just explain the entire process in detail and also attendance so i'll explain okay so basically what happens is in amity there are two types of id cards hostlers have a green i card and day scholars have an orange i card and what that does is basically it locks you inside the campus so for entering and exiting the campus we have uh, turnstiles and you can only access those with your id card and now your biometric earlier only the id was required but i think because of covid they might remove the biometric so it's a plus point if you get it if you get what i mean but yeah so you just need uh, so you need your id card and then you have to give a biometric and then the thing rotates and then you can go through it but the hostel id cards don't work on the campus gate so you can't leave technically unless you have an outpass and you scan it with the guard and then they let you go through a separate door that's what they do now so yeah it's got a little bad earlier it was fine like till the time they didn't have the biometric thing at the gate it was easy but yeah well <laughs> Anyway, so coming back to the outpass system. So basically what happens is you need an outpass to leave the campus. All this is like the official system I'm explaining, okay? Okay, so I get this question a lot, can we go out during the weekday? Uh officially no. Unofficially, yeah, kids do go out. I'm not saying I did or not. Uh but kids do go out. Uh the guards are pretty chill. And yeah. <laughs> kids do go out like to eat and stuff and then they come back it's very normal but ever since the biometric thing happened it's gotten a little like icky i don't know i haven't been there since the biometric thing happened so i don't know if kids are still able to do that but i'm pretty sure they must have figured out some way but yeah that's it that's one question i get asked a lot so yes the outpass system so basically what happens is everything happens through your amazon because Amity runs on Amazon. You have to fill an outpass. So, well, basically, weekdays you can't fill an outpass unless it's like something very urgent, like you have to go for some internship-related work, some project-related work, and it's difficult to get that outpass approved. Also, I want to add something here. It actually depends entirely on your warden, because some wardens are really like strict and very <laughs> annoying because they're just not. willing to listen to you and some are very sweet like the one i had for my second year and a little bit of the third year she was really sweet like if it's your birthday or something and you request her she like she'll allow you to go for like lunch she'll accommodate that like she'll listen to you and actually like try to understand but some wardens are very very icky they won't listen to you they just annoying so yeah it depends on your warden as well generally a warden will not allow it because they don't let you go out on weekdays it's just how it is and yeah the weekend outpass now weekends you are allowed to go during the day of course you just fill your outpass uh, on your phone and then it goes to your warden but you also have to select one of your parents name and they receive a message as well when you fill an outpass that your child has applied for an outpass for this date so and so times like so and so times so like from 9 to 9 i have filled an outpass so when i fill that and if i select mom the message will go to her phone that i have filled it but she doesn't have to like give me permission or anything about it and then it goes to my warden and then my warden approves it and then i get an email that my outpass has been approved and i get a qr code which i have to scan at the gate and then they allow you to go and come back yeah and if you come late your outpass goes red and nothing really happens but they like scold you for it but it's okay the bhaiyas are pretty like chill so it's okay but generally people like it's okay like people generally come within the outpass duration so for week ends like the day out pass is pretty chill they always give it to you there's no chick chick you don't have to do anything you just fill it but yes your parents know that you have filled it or whatever number you put in their name while registering for hostel they know 
um you have to scan it when you come back as well but yeah that's it that's how the weekend out pass system works you fill your warden approves your parents get a message that you have filled and you can just go and come back or not go at all that's like totally up to you for a night out pass like if it's a weekend you will get a night out pass like it won't be an issue your warden will approve it but before your warden approves it the parent you select will get a message that your child has applied for a week overnight out pass like a night out pass so they need to approve they get a link with it like you kindly approve your child's out pass so your parent has to click on that link and then they have to say i approve and once they approve it then it goes to your warden so basically your out pass uh, sheet will show you like categories so we'll stay the date and then we'll say uh, parent approval warden approval uh, department approval and status so once your parent will approve your night out pass it will say approved then it will go to your warden and then she will approve it she they generally approve it if your parent has approved it and what happens is a lot of times people like start to freak out like to have to leave tomorrow our pass is not approved a lot of times the warden approves them like really late at night so like chill okay until and unless it's the day you want to leave just give your warden time don't eat their head they hate it when when you just like after their life they approve it they approve it very late at times like i've got my out pass approval at like 2 am 2:30 am but generally they do approve it unko koi farak nahi padta tumhe ko andar rakh ke if they can approve it they do approve it and yeah that's how the night out pass works so you can fill it and then your parent has to approve it and what happens when you have to fill like a long out pass so suppose a third variant is suppose you have to go on like weekday like suppose you're leaving on saturday which is a weekend and then you're coming back on wednesday now wednesday would mean that three working days are a part of the out pass so whenever it is three or more working days you will have to go to your department after you fill the out pass and your parent approves it and ask them to approve your out pass because you're missing college for those 3 days so generally they require like an email from your parent like why is your child missing so many days or something like that that like you need that for your approval and because amity attendance is like really strict kids don't generally miss weekdays so yeah that's how the approval works so once your university approves it like your department approves it then your warden will approve it she does wardens don't do chick chick zada it's mostly like the department and that's it so that's how like a week day out pass works like it's only if you're missing like three or more days of your week day like working days uh but uh, if you're missing only like two days suppose you're going out on saturday and coming back on tuesday you probably won't need an do won't need like department approval you can just ask your warden ki do i need to get it approved from my department and she'll tell you so yeah that's how it works one more thing to know about amity out pass is if your out pass is for a week day you can't get proxy attendance because your attendance gets blocked suppose i have an out pass from sunday to like tuesday 10 am okay so all my classes in between will show blocked and on the faculty system it will say like it will state not on campus on out pass so you can't get attendance you can't get proxy attendance for those classes even if you like beg ki ma'am please de do or try to get proxy you can't because the system won't allow them to mark you and it's like to the t okay suppose my out pass is still 10:30 and i've come back on campus till on 10 at 10 okay but my classes started 10:15 so 10:15 classes started out pass is still 10:30 which means i am not there for the first 15 minutes like a part of the class so it will be blocked for this hour as well so be very careful when filling out pass timing especially for working days because it just blocks your attendance even if you came back on time your teacher won't be able to like suppose my out pass is still 10:30 i was in campus at 9 i was sitting in the class but she can't mark you because the system has blocked it so fill your out pass carefully like 
in sync with class timings so generally go for like 9:14 10:14 like fill those timings it's okay if you reach like 5 10 minutes late but at least your attendance won't get blocked so be smart when filling out pass <laughs> is what i would like to say so one last question is would you recommend amity hostel um it totally depends on you and what lifestyle you prefer like if you're into like going out and eating out a lot and clubbing and you want to like have non-veg every day if you're that person you will not enjoy the hostel at all because it is strict you can't go out every day you can't order food every day i mean you can but like only during the day i mean it's not as freeing like i think somebody who likes to go out a lot won't really be happy because you can't go out whenever you want to go out it is strict in terms of if you like going clubbing and all i think it's best that you stay somewhere outside there are a lot of pgs outside uh a lot of societies near amity where all amity students live like a lot of them live there so it's not you won't be the only one living there um but yeah i wouldn't recommend it to people who like going out whenever they want or and who are like very like i need to go out i need to eat out i need to club all of that uh, you probably won't be happy if you like very unbothered and chilled out and like relaxed like me like it is okay okay whatever then you'll enjoy it and of course don't forget that you won't get non veg food you don't get non veg food yeah that's the only bummer that's the only thing i didn't like we can say you can eat you can get food back for dinner you can ask your day scholar friends to just go out and get food for you so it's all in all it's fine it's fine i did get bored of living there after a point of time but first two years it was like brilliant so i wouldn't say it's a bad choice i say it's a good choice but it really depends on what lifestyle you're looking for or because if you're looking for a like partying and outgoing type lifestyle you will just be miserable the entire time so it's best to stay outside but the best part is you can wake up late and just show up to class and like even in between if you have like a long break you can just come back and sleep and that my friends is beautiful 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 also if you forget your assignment you can just go back and get it that easy that easy oh yes it is <laughs> So yeah that's all I had to say about Amity Hostel. Um I liked it it was fun it was cute. Um I would say it's a very livable place. Uh I really love the maintenance part of it and the fact that we have your single rooms and the AC is brilliant and the Wi-Fi is really good. I think those are the things that matter most to me. Food available is really good. It's actually really good you also have a dosa plaza i forgot to tell you about dosa plaza i was thinking about it that i'll tell you about it so you have this dosa plaza which has like so many types of dosas and they have delicious gulab jamuns like i used to love to eat one gulab jamun from there after dinner during winters like garam garam it was dosa plaza was a hit spot for all of us udhar ka coffee or chai i think tea is also very nice like people love their tea and their staff is the best like in terms of like staff all over campus the mesca staff is really really nice edge block mesca staff they're the sweetest people and dosa plaza ka staff they just the sweetest even even like uh, even uh, popcorn and more and uh, mama mia ka staff is really sweet like those people are like really really nice the only people i don't like are the parlor wale people I just don't like them. I don't like them. No. Um. So that's it, you guys. Um. My clothing statement is: It's nice, but don't go there if you're not up for the lifestyle, because it is restrictive. But living-wise, like if you like very chilled out and unbothered, you might enjoy it. I enjoyed it. So yeah, it was nice. Also, if you leave within the first three months, you get a refund. So you get a ninety percent refund. So it's pretty fine. Like if you go and if you don't like it, just keep sure. Like make sure to keep the three month timeline in mind in case you're not liking it, or in case you're thinking about like I'll try it out and then leave it if I don't like it. So keep the three month deadline in mind because you get a ninety percent refund, and I think that's pretty good. Like it's actually really good. So yeah, those are my thoughts about Amity Hostel. I answered all of your questions. I hope 
If you have any questions for the Amit University video, please leave them down below. I'll see if I have included those points or not. If you have any more questions, uh, leave them down below or hit me up on Instagram. I reply to all DMs related to Amity. I Trust me, I do and I get a lot of them. It's just weird how much people text me about Amity. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up now. This was today's video. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any more questions, leave them down below. If you liked the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And just to clarify, I was in Amity University, Noida, Sector 125. I don't know how the other Amities are, how their hostels are, how anything is. I can just vouch for this campus. And that is it. That's all I'm going to say. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. I'm so tired of talking. I really need water. Bye, guys.